Welcome to the ninth annual 1P36 DSA conference, guys. And uh, this conference, I cannot believe it's our ninth. Um, we're very excited about it. And there are almost, almost 300 people here in this room, over 60, 65 families and 300 people. So this is a big conference. So we're very excited. I am your conference co-host, Karen Bess, and this is Tracy. <laughs> and I told Tracy this is the only time I'll embarrass her the whole conference. So I wanted to start off by actually talking a little bit about 1P36DSA um, and our board members. So we have three board members, um, myself, Ken Shirtcliffe, who's in the back, and Todd Oliver, who's over here. We also have two more board uh, members, Jason Friedman and Carrie Dagger, who could not be here this year. So what I would like to do and start off with is how many conferences have you attended? So anyone who's their first conference this year, can you please stand up? <laughs> welcome newbies. You all got a great um, welcome during registration today, I heard. So who has attended one conference? Come on, stand up. I know there's quite a few of you. Actually, about 50% of our attendees are attending their first or second conference this year. Yep. All right, three conferences. Come on, stand up. <laughs> Four conferences? All right, we're getting down to the low numbers here. Five conferences. Six conferences? Seven conferences? <laughs> and I think that leaves Ken in the back at eight. <laughs> Next, for all the people who couldn't be here this year, what I would thought I would do is take a picture from up here um, and then post it out on the Facebook page for everyone to see. So if you just give me a second, I'm going to take a picture. So I'm going to pan the room. Please, if you can post photos of the event, um, either on the um, 1P uh, Facebook page or send them out to the group, um, a lot of people who couldn't attend would appreciate it. So the schedule for today, um, right after this, Scott and Jennifer are going to introduce our fabulous 1P36 individuals. And then after that, we're going to have a celebration ceremony um, outside, so right actually as you walk out of the room here, there's a spot in the back there. You can walk out those doors. And Aaron, on behalf of um, all the 1P36 individuals we have lost, is going to release b balloons. After that, we're going to try to do the group photo out there. Um, we're going to take it from the lobby and look down at that area. So hopefully we can get all 300 of you in the shot. And then we're going to have some dinner 
and music. The dinner will be served outside um, this room, and then we'll be able to eat in here. And my husband put together a great mix of music that you've been all listening to this afternoon. And um, after that, we're going to have two face painters, two balloon um, artists, a sing-along song with someone's going to be very happy over here is Elsa. And then we're going to take some photos with Spider-Man and Elsa. If you look on the back wall over here, um, you can see we've done a photo booth. We will have a photographer here to take photos, and there's some props back there. Also, if you look at the far wall over here, um, we've posted some questions, and we're looking for you to answer. So please make sure that you go over there and post. Please do not write on the wall. And some general information, if you didn't check, you have a conference agenda in your bag. Uh, the store will be open um, each morning, so Friday and Saturday morning from 8.15 to 9 a.m. If you are looking for the raffle tickets, um, they're with my husband. Raise your hand, honey. We are, um, the raffle tickets are $1 or $7 for $5. The raffle will be drawn on Saturday morning during opening remarks. And if we're just going to quickly show you what we're raffling off. Which one's that? Okay. The first is two Disney park hopper passes and some other Disney goodies. The next one is a, is a Captain Chromosome um, donated by Christine, uh, Christina, and uh, it's always a hit at the conference. Each year one is donated and raffled off. The next is um, two Disney water park or Disney Quest passes and a beach, beach outing bucket. <laughs> I don't know what you put in. And then next we have the baby signing time, um, three DVDs and the, I think two signing time, baby signing time and one potty signing time. Next we're gonna be raffling off two sets of Captain Chromosome stamps with stamp pads uh, donated by Christina Ferguson. And the last, is last year um, one of the parents made a book and it includes a lot of the um, 1P36 kids and we're gonna be raffling off the book. So again, all the proceeds um, benefit the organization and just find my husband if you're looking to purchase raffle tickets. Tomorrow morning, um, breakfast will be served outside from 7.45 to 8.45, right outside this room. They're pretty strict. They will bring, just so everyone knows, they will be keep refilling the breakfast between this hour, but after that, they just leave out whatever is left. So please make sure that you're down in time. Um, at 8.45, the childcare rooms will open. Um, we hired a sitter service this year, so they're bringing lots of fun toys and games for the kids to play with. And um, also, if you do not have a sitter and are looking to attend the mom or dad's event, um, then please look, go to the registration area and make sure you sign the list. We do have a limited amount of um, sitters during that event. So it's important that you sign up. Um, so we have a total number of people that will need sitter during that time. So now I would like to introduce Jennifer and Scott. Um, they will be introducing our fabulous 1P36 individuals. Thank you.
Hi, so uh, I'd just like to uh, once again officially welcome everybody, especially those coming for their very first conference. Um, you know, all of our lives are uh, not like everybody else's in the sense that, uh, you know, we, we deal with things with our kids medically and physically that just most families don't have to deal with. And, uh, and to me, these are some of my favorite three days of the year because, you know, they say that if you want to be around people who are most like you, you can always just go home. But for us, I don't think that's really true. Um, but to me, this is more like home often because these are the people most like my life who deal with the kind of things that we deal with every day that some people just don't get or understand. So uh, if it's your first conference, welcome. If it's not your first conference, welcome back. And for everybody, welcome home. So I'm Scott Winicky. This is... I'm Jennifer Winicky. We were, we were selling merchandise earlier, so we met some of you, which was a lot of fun. Can you hear us? Okay. Because I know we don't, we don't mind all the screaming and shouting, but I just want to make sure you can hear us. Um, we have Wendy. Wendy is a runner. She, uh, I should point out every day what she's wearing so that if you see her, you can catch her. But she's over on the far table right now. And this is our older daughter, Lexi, who has something to say. Welcome. I promised her a speaking part. It's maybe not her favorite three days because it's about her sister and not her. So... You know, she has her part. A tremendous amount of work goes into this conference to, uh, to make it happen. Um, I can't even imagine how much, because all I do is put together the slides, which is like fun and easy. But uh, I, I want to really especially thank uh, Karen and Tracy, who've put a lot of work into this. And uh, as you have kind of sort of figured out, superheroes is the theme. So just to recognize Karen. And Tracy. And, and to out them for their secret identities, there's Karen and there's Tracy. Uh, so let's talk about where we're from because to me it's always pretty impressive how far away people travel to get to this conference, especially when you consider how fragile and medically complicated some of our kids are and, and maybe how well they don't do with traveling. Uh, so we are from 24 different states this year, uh, as well as three other countries, Mexico, Canada, uh, and Australia. So uh, if it's red, it's, there's at least two families from that state. If it's blue, there's one. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, some people obviously travel thousands of miles to get here, and, uh, and, and I think that says something about how special this group really is. Uh, so the question we ask this year, you know, every year we just give a little blurb as to you know, kind of tell us something that we should share at the conference about your kid. So this year, to tie in with the theme, the question is, why is your 1P36 or super? And we got some fun answers. And we got some really great fun and sometimes off-the-wall answers. And we're going to have some fun with this. So a lot of times we try to do this in a nice, orderly fashion. And we usually do it in alphabetical order, except we have a Wendy. So this year we decided to do backwards alphabetical order. So it's not that we put Wendy first because she's ours. We just decided to go backwards. So, so if you're an Abby or an Aaron with two A's, go run around for a while. <laughs> so, uh, and, and what we'll do is... Um, Maybe if, as we get to your kid, we can have you stand up, hold them up, just so everybody can sort of, you know, remember, oh, who is that kid from last year? Or, oh, these people are new. I, I will point out the new people as we go through. Uh, Wendy is right over there. Ta-da. So uh, when, Wendy is super for a couple of reasons. Her superpowers include the ability to defeat any child-proofing measure you can imagine. Um, I have gone from having handle doorknobs to round doorknobs, uh, round doorknobs to doorknob guards. She learned to hit the doorknob guards and pop them apart. I had to duct tape them together. Um, I have locks on my toilets because she has the water thing where she's obsessed with water. Uh, so she can defeat anything. Um, and because of her obsession with water, she can literally find water anywhere. Guard your glasses. Yeah, she will literally come around to the table and just take your glass. So uh, just be careful. And she is six, as it says, and we're from Maryland. All right, next we have Vanessa. She was in the back. Can Vanessa stand up? There she is with her mommy. She's eight years old. 
She's from one of our Canadian friends from Windsor, Ontario. <laughs> a small but vocal minority of those yes. Canadians. She's got amazing strength and determination, and she has been walking and feeding independently lately, which is a super thing to do this past year. So Valeria is 11 months old from Miami. She was here, I saw her earlier. Somebody stand up, hold her up, where is she? There you go. Okay. It's okay. Um, and look, some of these things, uh, what you wrote was far more elegant and beautiful than anything I could translate into a PowerPoint slide. And so in those cases, I, I just copied what you wrote down. Um, a gift from God. She came into our life at a difficult time to teach us how important it is to value life, our children, and all that surrounds us. She has made us more human, more patient, and more loving. We have Ty, who's 18 months old. I haven't seen him yet. Is he here somewhere? Oh, he's taking a nap. Great. So our last two are down for the count. Yeah, that's nice. I'd like to take a nap, too. Um, anyway, he is 18 years old. He's one of months, our... Months. I'm sorry, 18 months old. Yes. Good Lord. You don't they, need that. They always look younger than they are, but not that much. <laughs> he loves moving, hanging upside down, and being sung to. And we will have to meet him later. Make sure you, you find Ty and, uh, and make friends with him. Okay, I seldom make it through talking about the angels without crying. Um, but another thing I think that makes this group special is there are people who have lost their 1P36er who keep coming back every year. Um, that has to be a tremendously difficult experience, but I think it really speaks to the bonding. Uh, so the first of those is Tobin, who, who passed away this last year. Um, and this is what Ashley wrote. Tobin is super because he has taught us so much, so many, uh, because he has taught so many about what is important in life and what true love is. He is extra super for bringing us into this family, introducing us to some of our best friends and defining the word strong. And he is super extra super for stealing his mama's heart, being his daddy's boy, and being the most loving, influential, and troublemaking big brother there is. His family is from New Hampshire. Are, are Ashley and Mike here? Ashley and Mike Pelzar are his parents, and they are here this uh, for the conference. So if you see them, please uh, introduce yourself to them. We have Tegan, who is nine, from New England. I mean, sorry, from Nebraska. She is over here in pink. <laughs> Tegan is one of the first 1P36 kids I met years ago in Minnesota. So it's great to see her get bigger. Her superpower is her super cute smile and her laugh that can light up any room. She's done an amazing job of learning to self-feed and walking in her walker this year. And if I remember, she really likes Kentucky Fried Chicken. Is that, is that still true? She still likes her mashed potatoes and gravy? So make, make sure you meet Tegan. Next is Sydney. Is she here? So Sydney is 13. She's from Georgia. Uh, and she's super because she is always happy and ready to learn. Uh, and she loves to ride horses, and this year she started middle school, and it rocked. Shiloh, where is Shiloh in the crowd? Anywhere? All right, she's all the way up front. She is five years old. She's one of our locals from Jacksonville, Florida, although not really close to here, I guess. Um, Shiloh is super because lately she has been standing unassisted. She's learning to transition from the bed to the floor and the floor to standing, which, as we all know, is a super huge deal. And she has done great with getting her G-tube. That was something that I know they were a little bit nervous about, but it went fine, and she's doing really well now. So next is Shelby, another one of our angels, and uh, Aaron and her family are in the back. And uh, they're from Ontario. And Shelby was super because she was a fighter who lived life to the fullest, a beautiful little girl who will always be remembered by those who knew her and knew of her. And she was at the first conference, and her last was in Tennessee. And I, I always tell people that Erin was like the first family I met uh, the very first night of my first conference, which was Minnesota. And, uh, and she has just been the strongest person and inspiration to me ever since because she just never misses a conference and uh, is just such a big part of this group. So. Uh, Introduce yourself when you see her. 
We have Sean, who is from Massachusetts. Is he here? I know. Ah, there he is. He's all the way in the back. He's got a great, you know what? The funny thing is one of his superpowers is his great hair. Hey, and he really, he really has great hair, but he's got this hat on. So, so hopefully you can see him without the hat. And he has a contagious laugh. Oh, there he is. That's his brother with the hat. Okay. There. You can see the great hair. Yeah, his, his mom is wearing white and he does have this great fluffy hair. Um, and he has a contagious laugh. And this is their first conference. So make sure you feel, make sure you make them feel welcome. If it's your first conference, you get a little Captain Chromosome on your slide, so if we forget to say it, that's how you know. So here's Ryder. Uh, he's four years old. Is he here? Yay. So I, I think contagious laughter is going to be a theme throughout this because they all seem to have that giggle that just you can't not laugh when you hear it. Uh, so a contagious laugh and a smile that can light up any room. And, uh, and I just think, you know, I, I, whenever Wendy sees another one, Peter, she looks over and goes like, ha, 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 a sort of conspiratorial laugh, which uh, always makes me laugh, too. Next up is Riley, who is seven. Oh, she's all the way in the back. Her mommy is lifting her. Her mother is Wendy. I have a soft spot for that name. <laughs> Riley is from North Carolina. She always has a smile no matter what. She works hard all day, and lately she's been working on learning to walk. And she loves to vocalize and sing. Even though she has a trach, she just loves making noise. So if you hear her, that's, uh, that's probably her in the back. So here's Paige from Washington. Paige is 10. And I saw her at one point. There she is. Off off to the left, my you left. Can come up. <laughs> if you want, sure, we're happy to have you. Um, so uh, Paige's recent super accomplishments include uh, growing her reading and writing skills, being a beautiful ballerina, and uh, uh, improving her horsemanship. We have Merrick, who is from Utah. I met his dad, yep, there he is. He's wearing his superhero cape. And you can see, uh, he, he was working our superhero theme because one of the, the pictures his family sent was him already in his superhero cape, so he already, uh, already has that down. He's very outgoing. One of his superpowers is being able to roar like a monster, so I'll have to, have to get him to do that at some point. Um, he's obsessed with trains and buses, which I know a lot of our, uh, our kids are. He loves Daniel the Tiger, Dumbo, and Thomas, which of course incidentally all include trains. Um, and lately, he has been learning to ride a bike. Maddie. So Maddie's from, Maddie is eight years old. She's from Atlanta. And Maddie isn't new, but her dad and brothers are. So I, I still think she gets a Captain Chromosome for that. And she is super because of her love and affection, sometimes too much. Uh, for all animals, especially horses, and her new kitten, Roxy. We have Liliana, who we call Lily. Oh, there she is. Lily, do you want to come up? Everyone's being shy. She's all the way in the back. You can wave to us. She's wearing her superhero cape. You might as well come up. Sure. Maybe not. Lily's seven, and she is from Saginaw, Michigan. <laughs> Lately, she's been speaking in sentences. She's been potty training this year, and she's been reading preschool books on her own. I know her mother has posted some things to Facebook about that. It was a wonderful accomplishment. Um, and this is a quote about Lily. She inspires us to find strength we didn't know we had and shows us more love than we could have known. And for that, she is our superhero. Go ahead, you can run across the other side. Just run across the stage. <laughs> Take a bow. Yeah, just just don't fall off the stage, because here's Lila. She's from Memphis. She's 19 months old. 
she also has great hair. Um, it's their first conference. She loves listening and dancing to Motown. <clears throat> For those of you under 35, that picture in the corner is a 45 record. I can explain to you later what that is. And she's going to be a big sister in December. Next we have Leo. Where is Leo and his family? Oh, he's all the way in the corner. There's Leo. He is five years old from North Carolina. He is super because he keeps a smile on his face through everything. He always gives hugs and he loves dancing to loud music. And I can add he also loves beach balls. Wendy has a beach ball and I, I think he was, he was ready to take it, so. I might want to add at this point that uh, we have this room for 20, you know, all 24 hours. So um, generally after they throw us out of the pool at 11, uh, a group of us come down here and just hang out. And there are usually munchies and beverages and crying and singing and just general carrying on. So um, if you're up for that and you want to vent a little or just want to hang out or just want to sit in the corner and have a beer not by yourself, um, there will probably be people down here each and every night so-called late night group. You can, you can bring kids, but I can't promise you the language is always in the PG variety, because sometimes after people have had a couple drinks, the gets a little hairy there. <clears throat> but we all need to blow off steam, absolutely. Layla. Oh, there she is. So Layla has a super sense. She can find her daddy anywhere. And she can turn frowns upside down. But, and, and credit for the Alexander family, they were the one person who sent in a super weakness for their superhero. And her super weakness is mirrors because she can't stop looking at herself. If you're wearing mirrored sunglasses and you're around Layla, she's, she's got to check herself out. She's from Maryland, too, so she's our, our other Maryland buddy. All right, there's Langston. I, I met his mom yesterday. She's, she's on our floor. This is their first conference. He is six and from Nashville. He is always on the go and full of curiosity. Fun is his middle name, so we look forward to hanging out with him this weekend. And he is a character that does not mind voicing his opinion, so I guess don't cross him either. <laughs> I, I love the slide where he is ready to do his karate chop there, so. Technically, Bruce Lee, I guess, is an action hero, not a superhero, but he just, he just looked ready for it right there in that stance. I love that picture. Josh. I saw them somewhere. Josh is 13 years old and from North Carolina. His superpowers include, quote, his strength would bring grown men to their knees. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's been through quite a lot with uh, medical stuff. So, um, uh, you know, I, I think our kids are, wow, they're amazingly tolerant sometimes of the physical stress that they put up with and, and come sailing through it. Um, and he is smart, funny, vibrant, and has a contagious giggle. Um, and, again, has tolerated most of his surgeries with just Tylenol. So um, uh, pretty impressive what some of our kids go through. And they are just very strong people, even though maybe they can't tell us that. They certainly show us that. We have Joseph, who is nine. He shares a birthday with Wendy, so I'll never forget his birthday. He is from Bend, Oregon. He's up front. Yep, his mom is waving. He can be super silly and has a super funny laugh. He loves school and works super hard, but he can also be super lazy or super cranky. And he also has a super sad face. So sometimes if you see him, he's really happy, but a lot of times he looks just really sad. So if you see him with a sad look, be sure to go up and say hi. So here's Jayla from Texas. She's five. We, we may actually have more families from Texas this year than when the conference was in San Antonio. I, Maybe they just want to get out of Texas during the summer, although I'm not sure Florida's a lot better, but, but there's a lot of Texas families here. Uh, so this is Jayla. She is full of determination, energy, and love, and her superpowers include politeness. She always says please and thank you, uh, and she is learning to read. We 
We have Jaden, who is 12. He's another one of our Canadians. Oh, he's all the way in the corner with the balloon. He's from Ontario as well. Jaden can identify and read over 70 words, and he is working on completing basic addition problems. So he's uh, acquired some good skills this year. And here is a quote that we, we really liked. His mom sent us a bunch of stuff, but one of the things that we really liked was that last week, Mia, who was his three-year-old sister, is she here? Oh, she's not here, okay. Um, she was searching for a puzzle piece on the iPad and couldn't find it. His mom was busy cooking dinner and said, I can't help you right now, ask Jay. He went over, found it for her, then went back to eating his brownie at the kitchen table. Then she saw that she was struggling, so he went over and he did hand over hand with her, which is how he's been learning most of his life. And then he helped her move the puzzle pieces around. So he's a, a super big brother too. And this is their first conference. So now we have Jaden from Miami. He's two and a half years old. He's in the back corner. This is their first conference as well. Uh, he loves to eat. Uh, that's not too much of a surprise because, wow, I mean, I, I just, all the ones I know, they just like, they see a bag of goldfish and they go crazy. Um, and he can now eat soft solids. He's mastered holding his own bottle and he's learning to sit up independently. Uh, and I just really like this quote. He gets up every day and works hard on improving himself no matter what obstacles arise. Jason, Jason's up front. I, I always call Jason Wendy's boyfriend because the very first conference we were at, whenever Wendy was in the same room with him, she'd start squealing so much I'd have to take her out because she just wanted to like touch him. So you notice that we're nowhere near Jason this time. He's seven years old, he's from Broadway, New Jersey. And what makes him super is his smile his contagious laughter, and his con determination to accomplish things that they were told he could not do. And I think that probably goes true for a lot of our kids. You kind of get this grim diagnosis at the beginning, and, and every accomplishment is just a really special thing to us, from the smallest thing to, I mean, from holding a bottle to walking to bearing weight, all of it is wonderful. Next is James, who's 16 months old, from California, sitting right up front. As you see from the Captain Chromosome, it's their first conference. And he can melt your heart with a smile, and he is lovable, feisty, and strong. I think feisty is a particularly good word for our kids, because uh, they have their own ideas about things, and uh, they may not be able to tell you in words, but uh, they will eventually show you or figure out how to show you what it is that they want or need. Next we have Hunter from Tennessee. Is he here? Oh, he's all the way in the back by the exit sign. And it's funny, uh, actually his mom, Vicki, hosted a conference a couple years ago, so she's probably glad to be sitting in the back um, this year. And last year, her things about Hunter were kind of like, he hates this, he hates that, he hates this, but he likes Wendy. Okay. <laughs> Hunter kind of likes to be left alone. He's here with his sister Angel this week, so um, you'll probably meet her as well. But he loves to cuddle and snuggle. He's a quiet kid. There is a peace when holding him. He asks so little, but gives tons of love. Here's Haley from Pennsylvania. She's three years old. Where is she? Okay. Um, and it's their first conference as well. Uh, and she is always happy and smiling, and she just started walking. Franklin, where's Franklin? Oh, is he? He's asleep, that's a good thing, I guess. All right, oh no, he doesn't look asleep behind you. <laughs> He's not asleep anymore. He's five years old, he is from Texas. Lately his walking has turned into running, which could be good or bad. His babbles are starting to sound like words. He's always happy and he loves his family and food. Next we have Evan, who's 14 years old and from Missouri. Is he here? 
I haven't seen him, okay. Uh, so he loves hot dogs, popcorn, and swimming. He loves going to the doctor's office, which I think is probably fairly unique. Uh, and as you can see, he's, he's a farm boy, and uh, he can milk a cow to feed his cats. Next up is Emily, and she is, I, I guess she's one of our co-hosts this year, because her mother's Tracy, who is, who is our host here. She's eight years old from here in Orlando. She's all the way in the back. She can navigate any electronic device and YouTube. That's one of her superpowers. I have not yet seen her without an iPad, so if you have any trouble with yours, let Emily know. She has an infectious giggle, and she gives the best hugs. So next we have Emily, who's 16 and from Virginia. Also in the back corner. Uh, and, and her superpower includes uh, instantly spreading her glee to those around her via her signing, spontaneous dancing, or her belly-busting laugh. We have Ella, who is five years old. She is also from Texas. Where is Ella here? Oh, there she is. She's doing her superhero flying thing. She is a superhero every day with a laugh that can warm any heart, a strong-willed mind, an attitude that can overcome any obstacle, and unconditional love for everyone she meets. Uh, next we have Dylan, who's 13 and from Indiana. In, in the back. Their first conference as well. And, uh, and, and I, again, another one of the quotes I like. He perseveres, tries new things, and is very loving. Connor. Oh, he's in the front, too. He comes from, to us from another hot place, Arizona. So I guess it's probably not as humid there. He's lost a lot of abilities uh, since September when he had a series of bad seizures, but he is, he's doing better. He has a beautiful smile and does not give up. And his mother reports that his secret motivation is watching episodes of Castle. Here's Connor, two years old, from Spartanburg, South Carolina. Right, they have the Team Connor shirts. Uh, and he likes to give high fives and play patty cake. <laughs> Our friend Colin, who is up front. There he is, right, right in front of his picture, looking just like that. He is nine years old from San Diego, California. His superpower is being adorable. Although I think that's the superpower of a lot of our kids. <laughs> Sorry, Colin. <laughs> um, he has an amazing rhythm and the best laugh. Right, so if your name begins with an A, B, or C, you can start to pay attention about now. So this is Chloe, who is seven. She's from Philadelphia. Is she here? Nope. Um, and her superpower is making everyone she meets smile. She just graduated from kindergarten, and she is following one-step directions, and she loves Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and this is their first conference. We have Charlotte from South Carolina. Where is she? It's kind of like the price is right. It's like, come on down, Charlotte. There she is. She's in the back. This is their first, her, their first conference as well. Her superpowers are super sweet hugs and super cuteness. And she has her own superhero sidekick, the mirror. So I, I think she's another one that just loves staring into mirrors. And there's a lot in this hotel, I've noticed. So all the kids are having a good time. So this is Cassandra, who's 15 years old, another one of our Texans. Is she here? Uh, so she is a super horseback rider and has a first place and two fourth place finishes in the state Special Olympics. Uh, right, which in Texas is probably a crazy thing because 
They're competitive about everything. Uh, and their goals include, her goals include to start Western riding and to do more competitions and to earn more medals. And it's her first conference. Next up is Callie. She's in the back. If you, if you did not realize this already, Callie is our official spokeswoman for 1P36. If you haven't talked to her yet, make sure you do. She is 27 years old. She has another Texan. Um, she is an advocate for and an inspiration to all persons and families of persons with disabilities. <laughs> um, Callie has a, a whole list of items that, that she sent, accomplishments in this. Actually, Callie, Callie hasn't been to a conference in a couple years. So the past two years, she's done an amazing number of things. We've only pulled out four of them. So make sure you talk to her and ask her what her other things are because she's, she's got quite a few things she's done that she can tell you about. But she attended a two-year certificate program at Lone Star College, which she was just about to start when we saw her last. She's an ambassador for 1P36 DSA. She's learning to drive. And she's created a girls' night out program for her friends that has no parents allowed. And I, I know they like to go to various restaurants. They get to pick when it's their, when it's their time. They go bowling and other activities. So um, she's been organizing that as well. And, and I would just say, if, if it's your first conference and you're unsure like how far a 1P36er can go, and what their developmental potential can be, talk to Callie, because she, she is an example and an inspiration to us all. And uh, you know, if you read what's medically out there about 1P36, it can be a bit grim. Uh, and I think when you talk to Callie, you realize that, uh, that yes, there are people who excel and, and do very, very well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Talk, talk to her mom or her grandmom and, and get the scoop on, on, you know, the trials that they've been through and, you know, what's went, what went well and what didn't go well. Because, I, I mean, all of our stories are sort of like, oh, well, this was a great experience and this wasn't. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it's sort of about figuring out what works for your kids and, and getting the right help that you need. But, but uh, certainly you should talk to them because... Uh, um, you know, Callie is older than most of our other children, and uh, her family's had a lot of experience and a lot of success. Um, so here's Binley, uh, another one of our Texans, who's five years old. She's got this great, what, what does her shirt say? I, do I rock this extra chromosome or, or this, missing. the missing piece of chromosome or what? So she's, uh, she's always got the bling when you see Binley. Uh, so she started riding her bike. She played soccer, but like being social more than playing. Uh, but I think that's true for about 80% of five-year-old soccer players, so I'm not sure that there's anything atypical about that. Uh, and she loves to tell people what to do. Uh, and that's also not actually unique to, uh, to uh, people with disabilities or, or people in general. But, uh, but Binley is an absolute cutie, and, uh, and this is, I think, her second conference. She has a little sister now to boss around too, I think. <laughs> Brianna, I saw you come in. I, you know, when we were over there selling things, I got to see some people, but not everyone. I know Brianna's here. She's in the back. She's, wave yeah, wave again so everyone can see you. She is 12 years old from Long Beach, California, so she's one of our, uh, our friends with a long flight. Maybe not as long as Australia, but you know. Still pretty good. She is a smart, caring, and noble preteen. She is also a social butterfly. She loves soccer, swimming, and ballet. And her mother says that she always gives her full effort in everything she does. So this is Brooklyn. She's uh, almost three. She's from Colorado. Is she here? Stand up, shout. Um, so also their first conference, she now speaks uh, a few words and has more than 30 signs. She's starting to run and climb. She's eating a variety of foods without choking. Uh, and she has grown an amazing three pounds and three inches in the last six months. Uh, 
Pryor. I met Pryor when I was standing at the, the table. There she is. She's right up front. This is their, their first conference as well. She has come down from Ontario. She's six years old, and she is super because she knows what she doesn't like, and she isn't afraid to tell you. She's also sarcastic and sometimes inappropriate with her sense of humor, and she teaches others about caring, kindness, and love. So uh, here's Bella from Michigan. She's six and a half. Over that way. Uh, and she has finally developed the muscle to sit, to side sit, and to bear weight, and she loves to stand. We have our other Bella. Bella from California. She's in the back. Oh, she just did a superhero jump. She's eight years old from Long Beach, California. We have two families from Long Beach. That's kind of kind of nutty. But she's super good at getting what she wants and in controlling her family. And she's also a super huge helicopter and airplane fan. And from what I remember, she also likes the Minions, too. She's a, a Minion super fan. So here's Becca. She's nine years old and from Florida. Uh, and she is a fighter and a hero. Uh, she struggles with her epilepsy on a daily basis, but she loves the pool, the swing, and being outside. If your first name begins with the letter A, you should start to pay attention now. As someone whose last name begins with W, I'm, I'm enjoying this a little more than I should probably. We have Arison. Where is she? Is she? Oh, she's in the back. She's wearing pink. Waving to everyone. She's 10. She's come down to us from Minnesota. She has the power to brighten anyone's day. She has an amazing smile and giggle. She impresses everyone around her with what a smart and determined girl she is. And from the pictures we got sent, I think she is another water lover, like many of our kids are. So here's Ashley, again from Michigan. She's 28. I know she's here. Right. So, uh, and, and again, um, you know, we have some young adults here. So if you have a younger 1P36 child, um, Ashley's family is another good one to sort of bend their ear about their experience over the years. Uh, so Ashley loves to help out with her two-year-old nephew. She's kind and gentle with him. And she has amazing energy in her swim practices and competitions. Next up is Amoni, who I think wins this year's award for Farthest Traveler. He is seven years old. He's in the front here. He came to us from New South Wales in Australia. And this is their first conference. And Amoni's story, probably one of the, the, the best things that we liked uh, about what his mother sent us is that he was neglected at birth and in foster care in various places, but he has been with his family now for over three years and he is just thriving. So we're very happy to, to have him and meet him. And we're happy to answer any questions that you might have being in this big group here, because I know there's a lot of you in Australia, but I don't think there's been any organized conferences yet. So here's Emily. She's seven years old. She's from Los Angeles. It's her first conference. She's at the front, but asleep. Uh, and, she, and she is super. Well, her name begins with A. It's been a long time. Uh, she is super because she loves to have fun and brings a smile to everyone she meets. Oh, and look, there's another water picture. You said it was their first conference? I did. We have Alexia, who goes by Lexi sometimes, but we put her with the A's. She's in the back. She is eight years old, and she is from Afton, Wyoming. And I, I know if you've, if you've seen our slideshows, we like to make fun of the fact that Afton has the world's largest antler arch, and we did not do that this year. <laughs> but, but I'm going to mention it anyway. 
This is kind of funny. She loves to play with mouths and faces, so definitely one good way to meet Lexi is kind of get to eye level with her and, and let her explore you. She loves to cuddle with her mommy and play guitar with her daddy. And her mom said she loves unconditionally and has a happy spirit. I believe Afton has the largest freestanding arch made entirely of elk antlers is their claim to fame, just to be clear. So here's Alexis, she's three years old. She's visiting from Mexico. All the way against the wall, off to my left. She is doing well with controlling her head and neck, learning to chew, and she smiles a lot and loves to play with her sister. Yeah, her sister is here sitting with her, I think. Yes. We have Aiden, who is also a conference co-host. He's coming up. All right, just come on up, Aiden. His mom is Karen, who is our conference host. And he's going to hang out with us. Spectacular. He's seven from New York. He swims laps in the pool with his head underwater. A couple nights ago, we were at the pool, and he got in, and everyone's like, is it okay that he goes underwater? And, and Steve said, no, he's fine. He's great. Um, he walked 1.5 miles in training for the Captain Chromosome Fun Run. And I know that's a big deal because he's been working on his stamina walking. So I, I'm happy to have him walk on up here. So here's Adam from Fort Worth, Texas. He's four years old. Off to my left. His heroic deeds include having open heart surgery at two weeks, walking when he was three and a half, and he stumbles, but he always gets back up. And one of their proudest moments was when he walked into school uh, the first day of his second year. Abby, I think Abby has the honor of being the very last person on our slideshow. Is she here? Oh, she's all the way in the corner in her cape. All right. Welcome, Abby. She is 12. You can come up in your cape. That's fine. She's from Indiana. She loves water. She is boy crazy. And in particular, she loves singer Luke Bryan. And I heard he was playing in Cincinnati last week, and I was thinking Abby was probably sad the conference wasn't there this year. Do you want to say anything? No. No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So uh, Abby was last in order. Uh, so thank you. Enjoy the conference. And remember, this is a quote from Scott Hamilton, uh, and it says, "The only disability in life is a bad attitude." Thank you. Oh. I guess one thing we should do, I, I know that we didn't get slides from everybody, but if there are people here, either because you registered late or because we didn't get a slide for you, if you want to introduce your family, we certainly could come around and do that. Um, is there anybody we didn't cover? If you just want to raise your hand. All right, Jenny and I will come around. But that means you have to talk. Wait, do you want me to hold him? I got it. This is Henry, we're from Jacksonville, just a few hours north of here. And he's two, and it's our first conference. And he's, he can sleep almost anywhere. And he is a bottomless pit. He's uh, always loved eating and he's learning to eat by mouth, um, like solid foods, which is pretty awesome. And rolling over and sitting up and he does want to talk. He probably just wants to eat it because it's something else to put in his mouth. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, she's Christina. She's 21 years old. Uh, we're from Miami. And uh, well, actually, she loves water like everyone else. Yes, it's first time here. And uh, she likes to drop the shoe. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, the best thing that ever happened to all my family, and uh, she's her angel. You are. First conference. Yes, we always have to make sure we have two shoes without our... Anyone else that we missed? Wait, let me make sure there's no one on this side of the room before we go all the way over there. Hi, guys. This is Samantha. She's five and a half months. 
I think she wins the youngest award. <laughs> uh, we are from Pennsylvania, Doylestown, and she loves to cuddle and just loves to play with her siblings. And obviously, if she's five months old, it's her first conference. So, welcome. This is Jade. She's four. Um, we just came by this year to say hi to everybody. Um, she started walking this year. We are from Puerto Rico. We are living in Atlanta, but we are from Puerto Rico. <laughs> and Jade's another one that just wants to talk on the microphone, I think. All right, who else? Oh, I'm sorry. We'll get back to you. <laughs> Hi, um, this is Cody. He just turned four two days ago. Um, he just finished his first year of pre-K and his favorite thing is the ABCs and he just learned all of his numbers. Well, one through 20. Wow. We're from Miami, Florida, but we right now we're living in Fort Myers. Okay. Welcome. Wow, that's... And this must be your first conference? Yeah. All right, welcome. Hi, this is Justin, and we're from Houston. This is, <laughs> this is our first conference, and Justin is um, almost two, month, two years out. He's 22 months. Everything makes him super. Um, he's, he's always happy. He's always laughing. He's always smiling, so that makes him super. Great, welcome. <laughs> Is there anyone else that we've missed? Wave your hands really high. Anyone? Okay, we have one more family, I think. And trust me, you won't remember anyone's name, but by the end, you'll just feel like everyone that you know, yeah. Yeah, that's why we have name tags. Usually we will also put the slideshow up on the 1P36 website too. Hello, so. Hello this is Scarlett. Yeah, hey. And we're also from Miami, Florida. Um, she loves uh, anything that has to do with the water, the beach, the pool, dancing, and also she loves her snacks. Is there anyone else? I know Abby's raising her hand, but I've already done her. Anyone? All right. Well, wonderful. Welcome, everyone.